Psych one, it's depression. Psych two, it's bipolar. Psych three, it's EPD. Me, it's Britney, bitch. Mm. 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 Clear of the closing doors, please. Hey, I'm Michelle Hammer from Schizophrenic NYC, and you're watching Schizophrenia and the City. And I got a request to do some psych ward meme reactions, and I thought that would be super cool because, you know, I've been to the psych ward three times and I didn't think it was fun. So, what could these uh, psych ward memes actually look like? Here we go. After a severe allergic reaction to walnuts, this is how the doctors labeled me at the hospital. People who looked at my wristband must have think I escaped the psych ward. Other than a band named Nuts. I mean, I'm glad I never had to wear a bracelet that actually said Nuts. I mean, it meant something else. It was, you know, it kind of, oops. All nuts? Not peanuts? Almonds? Walnuts? What kind of nuts? They could have written crazy nuts. <laughs> I mean, let's get to the next one. My Prince Charming coming to rescue me from this thing. If you don't know, that's a hospital sock. Like, you all know. Everyone that's been to the psych ward hospital socks. Come on, come on. But did you ever try to, like, bring them home? The thing is, when I was in the psych ward, I was like, yeah, socks. And then I brought them home, and then I was like, this is a really bad memory. These have to go in the garbage. I couldn't, I couldn't look at them anymore. I was like, these need to go to the garbage. This is a really bad memory. Yeah. Well, that was me. I mean, do any of you keep your hospital socks? Just wondering. Let me know down in the comments. Hospital socks. When you're the hottest girl in the psych ward and she's that hospital socks and heels. Funny story though, when I was in a psych ward one time, I was the only girl under the age of 50. And I, I felt like I was the hottest girl in the psych ward because every single dude wouldn't leave me alone. Like just wouldn't leave me alone. And it was getting really uncomfortable. And when I left, I left with like five different guys' phone numbers. Now, of course, I put them all in the garbage. It was a very strange experience being a 19 year old in a psych ward. Nobody wants to wear hospital socks like this. Like you don't want to wear that. That's not a trend. Like don't even wear that on Halloween. Like we just discussed hospital socks like before. Just, just no, please don't do this. Please, please don't do this. Please, please, it's not funny. There's literally nothing you can tie anything onto. That's true, that is true. In the psych ward, there is nothing you can tie anything onto because they won't, they don't want you to risk hanging yourself in some way, I guess. I remember my friends came to visit when I was in the psych ward and they were kind of like, why is your towel hanging on that chair? That's gross, hang it up. And I'm like, where do you want me to hang it up? And they were like, if you say mental illness three times in the mirror, someone with a live, laugh, love t-shirt will appear behind you and ask you if you've tried going outside. Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. I know people that like that little mantra, live, laugh, love. It, you know, if it makes you happy, go with it. But um, just say Trump and watch what happens. Freaking hilarious. Oh, because it's Whoopi Goldberg. Oh my God. Because Whoopi Goldberg is quite vocal on her opinion of, um, she doesn't even say his name. She just goes, the man in the White House, or um, you know who, or uh, 45. She doesn't won't even say his name. Oh yeah, so she freaked out. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. We actually got to like a funny one, you know. <laughs> You're checking into a psych ward. I'll just fake a mental illness so that we can be there together. <sighs> Yo, she's like bugging me out. This bitty is bugging me out. <laughs> I'm scared of her. I'm scared. I'm scared. Welcome to the psych ward. We've been expecting you. What? 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 Oh, it's the Adams family or whatever? Why would the Adams family be like in the psych ward? That's not, no, this is not funny. I'm sorry, bye. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob. Let's take Miley Cyrus and put her in the psych ward. Why is this funny? I don't get it. Why do you want to take Miley Cyrus and put her in the psych ward? 
I mean, I don't know if she, I don't think she has any type of mental illness. I mean, I don't know her personally and I don't stalk her life like that. But I mean, I think she's pretty chill. So, I mean, why is Patrick like, like doing that? I don't get if somebody gets this joke, can you please comment? Because I don't get it. <laughs> Moving on. Straight out of psych ward. Well, I mean, I know I sell some interesting shirts, like, you know, don't be paranoid, you look great, which I'm wearing, or, you know, like, I'm mentally ill and I don't kill, and that makes quite a statement. But straight out of psych ward, I mean, I'm just saying, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Okay, okay. When your circle is small, but y'all all crazy. I don't really say y'all. I'm that kind of a person. Well, I mean, the thing is, when y'all crazy, I, they were all in in the ha in the psych ward or whatever it was back in the 60s called or whatever you did but like it's from girl interrupted so yeah duh i mean i have a lot of friends with mental illnesses what's the big deal is there a problem with that no me making small talk in the psych ward i died once okay well okay there is some strange talk in the psych ward at times. I was playing ping pong with a guy and he revealed a lot to me just when we were playing ping pong. I'm not going to say what he said, but he revealed a lot to me. A lot of things you would never say. And he was a very nice guy. He was a young guy around my age and told me about his past and just, just like it was small talk, told me things you think somebody would never say to you. So small talk in the psych ward can be really, really interesting. Psych one, it's depression. Psych two, it's bipolar. Psych three, it's EPD. Me, it's Britney, bitch. Mm, 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 mm. Dude, I'm loving it. You know what? If anything ends in Britney, bitch, go Britney Spears, you know? Free Britney, let's do it. Ambulances shouldn't be used for long distance transfers. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So I went on a three hour ambulance ride one time, but I didn't know, you know, I was all like, you know, misbehaving the night before they were like shot you with this, shot you with that. Wake up in the morning, who knows what's going on. And apparently they signed a paper, which I don't remember signing. And then I go on an ambulance ride for apparently it was three hours and it cost me 800 bucks and you know insurance didn't want to cover it but they're like you signed a paper i was like i signed a paper what are you talking about but like you know i explained that i was all uh, i was under the influence of whatever medication that they shot in me i don't remember you know though so you know we got insurance to cover it because it was 800 dollars because it was a long distance transfer why was i in a hospital bed in a, an ambulance being transferred. I, I could sit, I could stand, I could do anything you wanted to do. You could have put me in a taxi. You could have done anything. I could have gone in a cop car. Why was I in an ambulance like I was broken? I wasn't broken. Rant's over, let's go to the next one. Psych major so I can get inside your head and you can get inside me. Whoa, whoa, lady, my lady, my lady, my lady. At least you're honest, you know what I mean? No beating around the bush, pun intended. You know what I'm saying? I admire your bluntness. You go. Where can I find a committed man? Try a mental hospital. I get the joke, because it's committed, and then committed, I get it. Still, ladies. I would call this stupid AF. But if you want to go for it, go for it. Does the psych ward have a Wi-Fi? No, it doesn't have a Wi-Fi. It just doesn't. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi. No, not that I've won. I've been in. No, I'm not really supposed to have a phone. You're not supposed to, to do anything. Even though they say you want to, you just do your homework. Well, I need my computer and a Wi-Fi to do my homework. How can I do my homework without a computer and a Wi-Fi? Oh, just do your homework. Don't you have any papers? No, I don't know. No, no, I don't, lady. No, no, I need my computer and a Wi-Fi. I can't just do my homework. I don't have a textbook with me either. I can't even study. I can't do anything, lady. No, I can't. I can't. I can't do anything without my computer and Wi-Fi. Don't tell me to do homework. Oh, don't you have to read books? 
books? No, I'm an art major. I don't read books and I don't know what my art assignments are because I don't have my computer with the internet and not like I have any sketchbooks with me either. What do you expect me to do? Do you think that I just have assignments where I have to fill in questions and answers? Because classes aren't like that anymore, lady. Stop telling me to just do homework. You can't just do your homework anymore. Apparently that hits me on a personal, on a personal reason. And I got a little, got a little angry about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to move on. When you meet someone nice at the psych ward. I mean, we're all violent here, but you're very friendly. People think people with mental illness are violent, blah, 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 blah. Even though, you know, the statistic is a person with mental illness is more likely to be the victim of violence than the perpetrator, yes. But sometimes you're in the psych ward, you see a dude come in and all chains and stuff because they fought the cops. It happens. Doesn't mean they're dangerous. It means they didn't want to go with the cops. I mean, I came in handcuffs one time. My friend came in handcuffs, leg, legs tied together, all the whole thing because he was fighting the cops. Doesn't mean, you know, that, that, you know, they're scary. It means you're fighting the cops. My mom waving goodbye after dropping me off at the psych ward. Scooby-Doo? All right, sure. Well, I've been to the psych ward three times, and looking at these memes, it appears that people like to make fun of the psych ward, and um, I'm wondering if the people were in the psych ward when they developed these memes, did they? Who knows, you know? Who really knows what's going on anymore in the world? Psych ward fun, psych ward bad, been to the psych ward, not in the psych ward. If you've been to the psych ward, holla at your girl. You know what? Also, if you like this content, subscribe, ring a bell, leave a comment. I'll be at you whenever. This is me signing off. Love you, mean it. You know it. Michelle Hammer, out. Peace, bye. Bye.